Hello, my name is Mr. Rankin, and welcome to Business 125, Personal Finance, Turning Money into Wealth. You can see, here's a picture of the textbook, uh, and there's my email address if you have any questions. The purpose of this is to give you a short overview of the course so that you have some preview and can help decide if this is a course you're interested in. And if it is, uh, we look forward to having you in the fall. So let me explain a little bit about how the course is going to work. So the way this course is going to work, it's an online course, as we've mentioned. So there will be weekly modules. Those modules will be due each Friday at midnight, and those will be strictly enforced. The normal module will include a checklist, so you'll know what needs to be done, a reading assignment, either a graded quiz, which will count as homework, or a graded test, which will count as a test, a graded discussion board, and a graded business case. So that's how the course will work. Let's talk a little bit the first checklist, the very first week. You'll need to purchase a textbook, the picture you saw previously. You'll need to become familiar, and there'll be a video on the tour of our Blackboard site. Become familiar with Blackboard, and once the course begins, you'll need to check the Blackboard site at least two or three times each week. You need to activate your Wake Tech email address. That's the only way I can communicate with you and that will need to be checked two or three times a week. And lastly, the first week we'll have a module zero. It'll be graded, but it'll be primarily for a test to make sure the computer wor is working and the transmission and all that stuff. So, how does this class get graded? How are the grades going to work? Well, there'll be five unit tests and a final, and those will count for 60% of your grade and I do drop the lowest one. 20% is based on homework each week, 10% on the discussion board, 10% on the business cases, and we do follow the Wake Tech 10-point grading scale, 90 to 100 is an A, etc. There will be a tab on Blackboard called My Grades, which will always provide you with what your current average is in the class. Now, some of my policies. First of all, because we drop one of your lowest test grade, I do not give makeup tests. So if you miss one, you get a zero on that, and most likely it would be dropped. If you miss two, then I suggest we consider dropping the course. Similarly, I do not accept late homework, but we do allow one that will be dropped. Finally, I do enforce the 90% attendance rule which means you can miss no more than two classes in the online class. And this is very important. Attendance is measured by discussion board participation. So ensure that every Friday by midnight, you've gone in and you've made your discussion board submission. Otherwise, you'll be marked absent. And more than two absents will, will subject you to being, being withdrawn from the course. So what are we going to cover in this course? First of all, I think it's an excellent course. We're going to talk a little bit about financial planning, how to do it, why it's important. We're going to talk a little bit about ways to manage your money. If you need loans, what loans are appropriate, what are good financial instruments. We're going to talk how to protect things that you own, protect your assets through insurance, what type, the amount, etc. Finally, we'll talk a little bit about investments, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and we'll talk about the different life cycles, retirement planning, uh, estate planning, etc. So, any questions between now and when the class starts? And once the class starts, the best way to reach me is via email. It's checked several times a day. If we need to talk face-to-face, -face, we can set up time. My office is on main campus, Holding Hall 108U. I hope this short video has uh, helped you in deciding what you want to do. Have a good week.